Hello curls, it's Yolanda Renee. I'm going to show you what my hair looks like when I first take down my braids or my twists because I think a lot of people see, you know, people's hair that looks big and, you know, defined or fluffy or whatever and they think as soon as they take their braids out it just automatically looks like this but that is so far from the truth. So I just wanted to come to you guys with this video to give you encouragement to let you know that no, your hair does not come out flawless as soon as you take the braids out. There are a few steps that you have to do to make your hair look how you want it to look. And it does take a bit of practice, some trial and error. So the first thing that you will have to do is of course take the braids or twists out. And so the elephant in the room is this bonnet. I keep on showing this to you guys and I keep forgetting to like actually talk about it because I do want to do a video solely on this bonnet for my Shop Black series. But since again it's the elephant in the room, this is my Floor Bella Boutique bonnet and um, the owner Crystal hand makes these like amazing. I think I need some water. They are adorable. They're humongous. <laughs> Even if my hair wasn't braided, if I had a big fro under here, I could still rock this. It even fits over my pillow. Yeah, like a throw pillow, so it can kind of be like a pillowcase too. But I'll have more of her information in the description box. But let's get started, you guys, today. All right, so first thing, don't laugh. But the point of this video is to show you guys that your styles are not going to come out how you want them to initially. So I'm going to show you how to fluff your braid out today. Um, as you guys know, I always do my hanging band to knot. Yes, this is the hanging band to knot. I have a tutorial on it, but I like to do that to give my ends some definition. So I'm just putting my fingernail right in between, and it kind of falls apart on its own after a while, and you just have to guide it. Okay, so the second step is separate. So your hair, especially if you do a braid out like I did today, once you take your braid out, you already have three sections. So all you need to do is separate each of those probably just one time because if you separate it too much, you're going to just have an afro or blowout type of look. Where if you don't separate as much, then you'll have a more defined look. So depending on how you want your hair, this is me separating it like a lot because this is the look I go for. But if you want it to be really defined, then I would say don't separate as much. And I do have some footage of what it looks like when I didn't separate it too much. The last step of this styling process is a hair pick. I love hair picks. I always use them to pick my roots. And this is also a very important step because this will give your hair some lift, some body, and it will get rid of any parts you may have in your hair. This may 
may be okay to some people this how it looks right now and I'll just do a 360 for you um, and you can stop here because as you can see this style is very fluffy it's not too defined so if you wanted to stop here because you want to keep some of the definition then by all means stop here with my hair pick I am just going to fluff away to give it some more body especially in this at the top here so what I like to do is I like to use my hair pick and go in the direction I want the hair to go in and I also like to pull out the curls to make sure there's none hiding in my fro because that does happen and this braid out is done on three day old hair that has been stretched so um the last step is to shape it of course because once you know like my hair isn't cut into a shape so i have to i usually try to pull my um the the bottom half of my hair i try to pull that down to give it some length um, and make sure that it's no like weird spaces in between because I know if you're a natural see how our hair is just like it molds to everything so you see how that little separation right there if I had my head regular and my hair was like that I would be so annoyed so that's why you may notice in most of my videos as I'm like doing a tutorial I'm always like this and messing with it because I just want my hair to stay you know I don't want that weird space um so yeah I always shape my hair um even from the side view I may have to like shape it to make it look like kind of like a wedge look or a heart shape or whatever you want to call it but yeah so yeah just shape your hair and you should be good to go don't be surprised if your hair grows throughout the day and gets bigger or more of an afro um because like i said that's just the price you have to pay for fluffing your hair <laughs> um but yeah i hope these tips help you guys if you have any questions as always please just leave them in the description box i'll try my best to answer everyone and have conversations with you guys um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye girls.